Rome. This is another warehouse. This one you can see from the Heroes Highway we've seen before. Now I thought that the Houston Commercial Complex was going to extend all the way down here. It turns out that this seems to be another warehouse complex that's being built. I was going by the fence because the fence was the same all the way to the next intersection. But this is what's happening here in Houston and Rome in Greater Georgetown, Guyana. And as you can see, rapid development taking place here. Commercial development mostly, I guess, this area has been zoned for commercial development. And eventually, all of this, what seems to be open land, will be covered with buildings. And I'm showing you this now so that when I come back in a few months and it's covered with buildings, you'll be able to see and compare the before and after. Like this building over here, this has actually been built in the last month, last, well, three months, because a month ago it was just a frame and now they're closing in that frame. But three months ago there was nothing, so, and if you've been following this channel, you probably, well, since the last time I've made a video in this area, You've probably seen it before. So, this is what's happening, guys. It's happening quickly. It's changing rapidly. It's this development, massive development here in Georgetown. All right, this is an entrance to what I thought was going to become Houston Commercial Complex. But in fact, it seems to be another commercial building that's being built. There's heavy traffic now on this. Highway now was changed is that more and more people right more and more people are using Heroes Highway and so as Heroes Highway becomes congested a lot of the traffic is being diverted into this road this side street basically that's parallel to Heroes Highway and that's the argument I'm having with some people on this channel because they don't seem to understand why I'm asking for trains, why I'm calling for trains to be built. Because the more you build roads, the more congestion you get, right? The more cars people buy because they see, they see the road, open road, as an invitation to drive. So the more roads you build, the more cars people buy, and the more congestion you get. This is not something new. This is something we've known for over a hundred years, right? If you follow the development in New York City, all of those highways and parkways that were built by Robert Moses is something that they observed since the early 1900s, right? Since 19, I think 1919, they've been observing this. Robert Moses started building those parkways in 1920s. So in 1928, I think they completed, um, what was it, the Belt Parkway. So between 19... 28 and 1968 Robert Moses built all of those parkways in New York and New York City the Bronx Cross Bronx Expressway Major Deegan Expressway and all these places Sawmill Parkway all they were built in the 1900s and they observed as the more they built those parkways the more they built those highways the more traffic congestion became worse it became and that's the argument, guys, that we need to build not only roads, but you need to build railways. You need to build trains. And you also need to build airports. Because as development takes off, more people will come. And the more people come, the more they want to move, the more they want to move around. You have to move people around. Now, this is Houston Commercial Complex. Over here, we've seen this in the past, right? This is Houston Commercial Complex. When they first, when I first started looking at this complex, based on the fence, I assumed that they were going to repeat, right? They were going to repeat the complex all the way down the line here and just make multiple buildings like these two. It seems as if they've changed those plans and these buildings are not going to be repeated they're going to build other buildings down the line 
But that's what's happening here. This is the development of the Houston area. All right, this is development of Houston area. And this neck of the woods, they're building more and more uh, warehouses and more commercial property. This is the Houston commercial complex. We've seen this in the past, seen this before. This is what it looks like now. I don't think it's open. But these are the buildings or the tenants here at Houston Commercial Complex. There is Global Asset Integrity and Maintenance, Management Services, Carib Lifts, CCA, Guyana Inc., Lube Tech, Massey Distribution, AVAA Holdings, CADL Guyana Inc., Engage Guyana Inc., Integrity Services and Logistics Inc., Bihari Restaurants Holdings, I think recently there's an announcement of the death, the passing of Chico Bihari. He is the um, he is the leader of the Bihari Group. Technical Services, Technical Integrated Services, Roof Systems, French Tradition, PHL Guyana Inc. Integrated Offshore Services, and so on. So, Waste Aid. So this is what is happening here at Houston Commercial Complex. I don't know when they're going to open it, but it seems as if people have already moved in, right? People have already moved in. Don't know if they're going to eventually be open to the public. And across the street, more construction, more warehouses, more development. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods, guys. Rapid development here in Houston. A lot of the commercial property being constructed here um, has been telegraphed you know they've been telling us that they're gonna build these uh, this commercial area for a while and now it's taking shape and is uh, in fact changing rapidly this uh, building has been built recently behind it there are more large buildings going up and straight ahead more buildings going up and then on this side the street takes you back to Heroes Highway this is where they're actually building that major warehouse and advertising for storage those of you who need warehouse storage. But this is what's happening, guys. Like I said earlier in this video, there's a sign that shows you a number and some email addresses that you can contact if you want to lease land in this area to build your hotel or your commercial complex or your residential complex, condominiums. So this is where it starts. And it's happening very rapidly so those of you who are planning to get into the business and take advantage of the development this is where it's happening it's right across the street we are from this houston right this is houston commercial complex and this is i think rome turns into sagebrush sage sagebrush i think the next village but this is what they've built here it's a warehouse building that's going up here in Houston that's it guys if you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe share this video with friends and family around the world let people know what's happening in the fastest growing economy in the world Guyana. Later!